Do you know that the fertilizer use efficiency of urea is very low? I am Hansika Leuke Bandara. Under my research, I have developed a novel slow release fertilizer by integrating a urease inhibitor and urea into biochar. I also conducted a leaching column experiment and a field trial using the newly developed slow release fertilizer. Interestingly, the leaching column experiment has suggested that our new fertilizer has better slow release properties. And also, the field trial was shown that it has the potential to increase the fertilizer use efficiency of urea. I am Supun Dinesh. I conducted my final year research project on one of the most demanded and beautiful ornamental fish species, which is guppy. There I tested the effects of vitamin A and D enriched Moina macrocopa diet on the growth, survival and the color enhancement of guppies during their nursery rearing period. Moina macrocopa, commonly known as water fleece and widely used in ornamental fish industry as a live feed. Color, growth rate and the survival rate are important factors for guppies to increase their market value internationally and locally. As the results of this research, vitamin A enriched Moina macrocopa diet causes to increase the color intensity as well as the growth rate while vitamin A and D enrichment causes to reduce the survival rate significantly. I am Sunimali Attanayaka. In this high time of developing artificial intelligence in the world, my research was development of an artificial intelligence based image processing system for industrial sorting of big onions. So in the industry, they use human labor which is timely and costly for sorting big onions. For that, I developed a TensorFlow light object detection model using Python programming language and TensorFlow and OpenCV Python modules. This model is capable of sorting onions into four different categories as good onions, doubled onions, sprouted onions and rotten onions with high accuracy. Therefore, this model can be used for developing an automated system of sorting big onions in the industrial scale. I am Upadhyaya Bandhara. In my research, I explore the hidden potential of native rhizobial symbionts found in Kinesaria sapium and mimosa pudica plants grown in dry zone Sri Lanka. In my research, I observe their plant growth promoting capabilities and not only that, how they thrive under various abiotic conditions like pH, higher temperature and drought-like condition. In that case, I selected the most promising rhizobial symbionts who has the higher capability for plant growth promotion and higher tolerance for various abiotic conditions. These findings will be facilitated for the production of eco-friendly biofertilizer. With that, that will be paving the way for sustainable agriculture in Sri Lanka by reducing the use of chemical fertilizer in agriculture. My name is Pradeep Nimanta. In my study, I explore the efficacy of African marigold in managing cabbage insect pests in Sri Lanka. In my research, my objective was to find an alternative to address the high cost of production as well as the environmental degradation associated with heavy reliance on insecticides in cabbage farming. In this research, I was applying the marigold in the form of an extract as well as an intercropping treatment with the cabbage and according to the results it revealed that the intercropping treatment with cabbage shows beneficial results. The intercropping with uh, cabbage and marigold promotes the beneficial insect populations in the cabbage farming ecosystems as well as it reduces the pest number in the cabbage farming systems as effective as the synthetic insecticides. I am Merandi Varavat and I did my research study on evaluating the effectiveness of extension programs conducted by the Department of Agriculture. For that, I chose Pulastigama Agriculture Instructor Range which has initiated and conducting highly successful women empowerment extension program series. 
In here, I used program logic model to describe the relationship between outputs, outcomes, and impact of the program. According to my findings, multiple communication channels used by the extension officers is strongly correlated with the overall satisfaction of the respondents. And the groups that received financial and material supports have adopted higher number of technologies. Finally, participation to agriculture extension program leads to technology adoption, knowledge enhancement and income provision on the studied community. I'm Tuleni Lokuge. Do you know 40% of the tomatoes produced in the fields of Sri Lanka do not reach consumers? Although authorities have undertaken many strategies to reduce these losses, none have yielded satisfactory results. Therefore, my research study aimed at identifying how nudging and information provision can reduce tomato losses at the retailer level. I conducted a social experiment using 27 retailers and there I informed one group of retailers about their monetary losses due to tomato wastage and their fellow retailers' levels of losses and another group of retailers about methods they could use to reduce tomato wastage. There I identified that the group of retailers who were informed about their monetary losses were more motivated into reducing their tomato wastage when compared to the group who were just informed about methods they could use to reduce tomato wastage. Therefore, the finding of my research study is that the impact of monetary losses should be more emphasized when designing effective loss reduction strategies. I am Vishnuka Sitravel. My research was about gelatin extraction from the sea chicken fish Cathedermis maculata byproducts for the waste reduction and added value in the seafood industry. Usually, the gelatin is derived from bovine and porcine, but the fish is an alternative source for the gelatin production. My research revealed the sea chicken fish skin is deemed suitable and cost effective for the gelatin production. The research highlights not only the potential of the sea chicken fish skin but also find the sustainable solution for the waste reduction in the food industry. Hello, I am Shalomi Christopher. Basmati rice varieties are well known for having low glycemic index. I have conducted my research in exploring the nutritional properties, glycemic index and functional properties of newly developed basmati type rice varieties in Sri Lanka. According to my research findings, all three basmati type rice varieties were categorized as low GI, which indicates these rice varieties have low impact on the blood glucose levels after the consumption. Therefore, this can be recommended for the general public, especially for the diabetic patients. In addition, these rice varieties are rich in antioxidants and minerals which protects from heart and neurological diseases. I am Darshini Virat. So, FOSS gave us an opportunity to showcase our research findings and share our knowledge to a scientific audience. At the beginning of the FOSS journey, many workshops were conducted by experts to support us in different competitions such as graphical abstract, three-minute thesis, research tools and many more. Therefore, I would like to thank academic staff of the faculty and the FOSS committee for giving us such a valuable opportunity in our undergraduate life. 